So I'm working on number two, one of these lamps. Um, there is a dual cluster in series, so it's about 60 volts, and I've got some capacitor puffs here. And I'm going to put them in uh, this box here, so I need to make a circuit for that for the outside light. Uh, the other LED lamp is working very satisfactorily, so uh, yeah, that's going to be part of the heatsink, which I will stand off, and that goes underneath here. Capacitors and then uh, uh, dropping series resistor for current limiting. Well, I made a bit more progress. I got some extra support plates here. But there were holes, I had to blank the other holes off in this box, and uh, I've got the LED clusters here on the side. And I've got some space in between them. So, yeah, so that's uh, going to be the lights. And uh, I'm going to put some guts in the box and do a few tests and see how it's going to perform. Just to make these fittings, the B22s, I just uh, like to be able to uh, change a bulb quite quick. So made an adapter, a bit of uh, two core wire in here. And then uh, I'll seal it up with a gland here, washer. So just drilled out and um, yeah, put some potting in there. That gives it quite a good uh, secure connection. Pop this in with some glue here, so I've got this all ready to roll. Fill the device up. I found a good stirring device for this is a cable tie. Let's get it all spread out of India properly. Cable tie is brilliant for this. And put the disc closing disc on here. Just doing a quick test run, 150 milliampere. I've got two crazy 10 LEDs in series. Voltage DC is uh, 54 volts. Just got it on the variac. Just need to rehash the capacitor value, but it's working fine, so I'll let it sit fully well. Just do a few prototype test runs. Um, I think this seems to be working quite well. I'll put two capacitors, disconnected one. Uh, one micro each, 680 volts, and uh, I've got four 270 ohm resistors in parallel that yields in about 75 80 ohms. And the maximum current I get now with 270 volts is uh, 150 milliampere, 0.15, so that's pretty good. And the lights are pretty bright. I'll just turn the light off here. Bright enough for an outside light anyway. Let's just watch this. It is still pretty good. For an outside light, uh, I think this is going to be the concept. Energized lights. So I'll let this cook for a while and see how that's going to perform. But I'm quite happy with that. Cree. Tobias is having a nice sleep. Toby. Hello, you beautiful Toby. soft. Meow? Meow meow? Hmm. Well this device has been on a uh, 24 hour soak test and it's still running happily. Uh, I believe the current at about 120 milliampere and nothing has fired up here from the back resistors. So I think this setup is pretty good. I'll let it cook for another day and then I'm gonna assemble it all together. That's uh, here. I'm quite pleased with this. Repurposing some more of these uh, 
three LED clusters. Well, I've had this device for 24 7 for the last 3 or 4 days, shock test and it's all running fine, it's at about uh, 150 milliampere. I think these LEDs are weighted for 250 to 300, so I've got a 2 check meters on there. That has moved about 0.3 kilowatt hour, and the same on that one. The meters hardly registered anyway, because it runs at a power factor of very low, probably 0.2 or something, because it's capacitive. So it's very cheap lighting. So I made a modified socket here, B22, I may have shown it already. So that can go on the outside socket, so it's for me easy to exchange the device if it fails. And in the box here, um, it's a bit messy altogether, but i uh, got a standard uh, capacitive dropper here, two microfarads, two one microfarads in parallel. 327 ohm, uh, two watt resistors in parallel. Gives me about 90 ohms inrush limiter. Uh, rectifier here, capacitors at the top, tucked behind the MOV spike search diverters, and I got a uh, fuse in here as well, 3 ampere fuse. So, uh, yeah, it's very simple. I'm going to install this thing, um, that's the lead going to the socket. So, I have like a, a modular design, saves me hard wiring it up, and it's just easier. So, I'm going to install that device. Here's the LED cluster in service. Uh, it's on reduced voltage at the moment, sitting 170 volts, which is the way the outside lights are configured. There's the other bulbs, the filament bulbs are still running in series with a 100 watt bulb. Extend the lifespan, but it does the job is required. Light has been going over a week now, and I'm very happy with it. View from the other side. LEDs. That's the other one from the other video. That goes at 240 volts, which is more than good for me.